Hey guys, welcome to my new video. Samsung has just announced four new devices and I must say that Samsung is doing it right this year, checking all the boxes when it comes to what people need on a smartphone nowadays. In the beginning of the year, they announced three mid-range smartphones, Galaxy M10, M20 and M30 series for a starting price of $110 with some decent specifications and I think that was a good move by Samsung. And now they have just announced four flagship smartphones, Galaxy S10, S10 Plus, S10e and S10 5G. Also Galaxy Fold which is way too pricey I think. The new Galaxy lineup is stunning. The look and the screen is just best in the industry at the moment. Also the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor is one of the best feature of the device as it will completely remove the notch design in the future. And I'm sure more manufacturers will start to implement it in the future as it's more secure and you can unlock the device when it's completely switched off. I'll be covering all the other features of Galaxy S10 in my hands-on video. So in this video, I'll talk about one of the cool secret menu of this device or any Samsung Galaxy device, which I think if you are a Samsung user, you must know and which is very handy. So let's start the video. But before I start, kindly subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon. So you will get notified every time I post a new video. Go to the dialer and type star hash o star hash. Now this is quite important as this is the decisive menu, not only taking you to the secret menu setting, but also let you know if you have a genuine device and not a fake one or a counterfeit one, as this code will work only with a genuine device. This is a great way to check your device if your device is not having any hardware connectivity issues from the beginning. So you can be completely rest assured of using this device in future. And this is a harmless menu, so feel free to check it as it is just for checking the device internally. Now let's start with the colors first. As you can see, the colors are not so vibrant like the previous models. Also, you can see I'm doing the same comparison on my Note 8. So the Note 8 colors looks more vibrant. Now Samsung has reduced the vibrancy and the display is more eye pleasing and will give you less eye fatigue, reducing the blue light emission. But I do prefer the colors of my Note 8 better than this one as they are more vibrant and the colors are more popping out in the Note 8. Now it's quite debatable which one looks better, but you can see here the Note 8 colors looks a bit more vibrant than the S8 Plus here. Now let's check the receiver quality if it's working fine or not and also the vibration mode. Let's check the main camera and take a snap here. Here is a test of all the sensors running on the device. It is a power packed device with all the necessary sensors. Now comes the most important part and the reason is its price as it costs more than half the price of the device. And in the past Samsung is known to have issues with its LCD screen with lots of Samsung devices when they fell down even if you have a screen protector installed still you can see some black spots on the LCD panel and the reasons can be more than one. And also some of the LCD panel, the screen looks fine, but some part of the screen becomes dead. So you will have dead pixels on the screen and the touch will not work at all. That is why buying a Samsung with warranty is very important because a lot of Galaxy devices have this black dot issues. And the reasons are still unknown, like maybe it fell down or maybe it's in general. Maybe you are just one of those unlucky person who got the screen. The most important thing to know here is that these issues cannot be solved. The only option is to change the screen and which costs more than half the price of the phone. So that is why it's always better to do this test and know whether your device screen is perfectly fine or not from each corners and the center of the device. So let's start by checking the touch sensitivity. You can see here that there is no dead pixel on this device. The touch is working perfectly fine in each corner and the center of the device. So if your device does not have any screen related issue, you will be able to check the green bar from all the corners and the center. Also, it's always good to use a screen protector with Samsung phones, but a quality one. As with the substandard one, the touch will not work properly. So that's all guys for this video. I'll be making soon more videos on this amazing device in my channel. So kindly subscribe and hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Also, you can click over here for the playlist of Galaxy S10 videos in my channel. So see you in my next Galaxy S10 video. Till then, goodbye and peace. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, kindly hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate that. Also click on the notification icon, the bell icon. So you'll constantly get updated with my new videos. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Till then, goodbye.